In this lecture, we talk about two important concepts in management. Uh, those are authority and responsibility and how they relate to delegating work and decision making. Delegation of authority means not only giving tasks to employees, but also empowering them to make commitments for the company. That is in terms of the use of resources, how they're allocated, that sorts of things. They are allowed to take whatever actions they deem is necessary in order to carry out those tasks, including up to certain levels or limitations using resources of the company. As the business grows, so does the number and complexity of decisions that have to be made. So no one manager is able to be in a position to take care of all the decision making, and it's much more efficient in many cases to allow some individuals to make some decisions that are specific to their areas of responsibility. This delegation of authority allows uh, a freeze a manager or other managers to concentrate on larger issues and more detailed issues associated with a particular work group, a particular project or product can be delegated and accountability assigned so that person has to deliver on the outcomes. The One of the things that I learned when I my first job at AT&T uh, was that they had this policy document, which was called a schedule of authorizations, which essentially said what levels of management were responsible for what things, who could sign off for an expense voucher, who could sign off for buying a computer, those kinds of things is what is this idea of delegation of authority. In that case, it's authority to spend the business's money.